Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look on how to connect LED lights on a boat. If you like to go out at night with your boat, this is a must-do project. Like the usual, I'll ask you guys to like and subscribe. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. So we'll go back to our original wiring diagram and we'll remove whatever's not needed for now. So it's less confusing. I like to connect the LEDs on the with ignition box because if I ever forget the LEDs open, when I shut off the boat, the LEDs will go off. When purchasing this device, there's a couple of things to look at. First is the voltage. It'll accept 12 volts. The amps necessary. And one feature that I like is the RF remote control. Let me explain why I like the RF remote control. RF remote control will send its signal even through obstacles. So I can put this remote directly on my console and it'll work perfectly. All right, let's start with the connections. Let's start by connecting the black wire, which is the ground. We'll go on the ground side of the fuse box. Then we'll add the red wire which is the positive side. So we'll connect it on the positive side of the fuse box. At this point, for it to be functional, you need to add the fuse in the fuse box. I will show you later in the video how to measure to know what amp fuse to add in the fuse box. At this point, we can add the length needed of your LEDs strip. Don't forget, they need to be waterproof. They're on a boat. And the connections. There's two little arrows on the connections. You need to make sure that the arrows are on the same side. Okay, now that you have the length of strip lead needed, you want to check what amperage is really passing. At this point, you'll need the voltmeter. Set it on amperage. You'll take both your tips and put them where the fuse would be. So the amperage is passing through the voltmeter in amp mode, and you'll see how much amperage is passing. Don't forget to set your lights in white and at the brightest. That's when they'll be the strongest. That's when the most amperage will pass. Now, at this point, if your multimeter is showing you 1.5 amps, you want to put a 2 amp fuse in the fuse box. And in the future, if you want to add another lead strip, well, you're going to redo the amperage reading because it's going to change. Not much, but it will. If you need to cut your lead strip, this is where you would cut it. If you want to add a lead strip or split the lead strip, you have connectors. you got 90 degree connectors, straight connectors, T connectors. Everything's possible with lead strips. Once your LED strip installation is done, you can stick your remote on your console so you have full control of your LEDs. Since the remote is not completely waterproof, I would add some nail polish where you see seams that water could go in. Just don't seal where the battery goes in case you need to change it. Another important tip that could save your lives do not take your wife's favorite nail polish, guys. And this is the final result on my boat. Now, before, when I said to measure the amperage with the color white, it's because I have three colors on my LEDs. Blue, red, and green. If you just have one color, use that color at its brightest and measure your amps. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. If you have any questions, write them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you guys soon.